Here's the thing about partnering with God and, and promoting breakthroughs and promoting miracles is that God actually makes them happen. God actually makes miracles happen. Jesus taught his followers to pray for miracles and then expect God to make them happen. And so it's not a surprise that, it shouldn't be a surprise really, that God does in fact make miracles happen. But here's the thing, if you're not careful, if you're not careful, it it can be easy to forget that the miracles actually come from God. It can be easy to forget that the breakthroughs and power in your life actually come from God and not just your own self-will. It's easy to get greedy and to believe that that your own self-sufficiency is the cause of whatever goodness has happened in your life. Maybe you think it's the way that you work hard or your circumstance or or chance or whatever the case may be is the cause of miracles in your life. But the thing is, when you when you begin to grow complacent and when you begin to start thinking that it's all about you, you can begin to grow greedy and that is a dangerous place to be. It's a dangerous place to be because it puts you outside of what God wants for your life. It puts you outside of what God wants for for your life and puts you outside of God's miracles. So when when you harvest a breakthrough or when God harvests his breakthrough or miracles in your life, you can't just take it for granted. You can't just take it for granted that it has happened. Instead, you have to be intentional about how you respond. You have to be intentional about how you respond and how you live with that miracle and live with those breakthroughs. In America, we glorify self-sufficiency. We glorify doing it on your own. We have this idea that there is value on doing things yourself, on not relying on others, of being self-sufficient in everything. I mean, while this may make people feel patriotic, um, and I might get in trouble for saying this, but God says that self-sufficiency is a lie. That self-sufficiency is a lie, because elsewhere in the Bible, and this was actually written by an early Christian pastor, a guy by the name of Paul in the New Testament, it clearly states that self-sufficiency is a lie. Paul writes to some Christians saying that all things are from him, all things are from God, all things are through God, and all things are for God. So may the glory be to God forever. When Moses was warning the Israelites, the Hebrew people, that God was freeing from slavery and leading to a blessed and promised place, when Moses was warning them, he didn't have these words of Paul, but he knew, he knew the dangers of feeling self-sufficient. You might be thinking, well, what's, what is the danger? What is the danger of feeling self-sufficient? Because I like to do things on my own. I mean, I like to do things on my own. Uh, I, I like to be able to handle things and take care of things. But, but, but there is a danger here, and, and the danger is what comes next. Uh, what comes next in Moses' warning? And here's the thing in Moses' warning. It, it may be difficult to hear, but Moses is about to tell us that God's blessing is not unconditional. That God's miracles and breakthroughs are not unconditional. Throughout the Bible, we find that God always has conditions. That God always has conditions on the people and the land. Throughout the Bible, we find that when the people, the Israelites especially, forget about God and start to treat other people poorly, that God removes them from the land. That God removes them from the land because they have forgotten that God is God and they are not. Not remembering the blessings of God has dangerous consequences. The reality is that God's blessing has conditions. And as somebody who thinks about God as this loving and, and, and all wonderful being, this is hard to hear. This is hard to say that sometimes God's blessing does have conditions. And it's when you start to believe the lie of self-sufficiency, especially when you, when you grow fat and happy, that you start blocking God's breakthroughs and God's miracles in your lives in your church, at your workplace, and in your community. So in light of this, besides just feeling bad about ourselves and, you know, really kind of dour about the whole scenario, what what are you to do? Well, the good news, the good news is that gratitude is, is, is a powerful antidote. And that's what Moses is talking about. Gratitude guards your heart and your life from the lie of self-sufficiency. Gratitude guards your heart and your life from the lie of self-sufficiency. 
When Moses was, was warning the Israelites about the temptation and the lie of, of self-sufficiency, he, he warned them to remember that their blessings and their breakthroughs, that they come from God. So when you experience breakthroughs and blessings in, in your life, be grateful because gra- gratitude guards your heart from the lie of self-sufficiency. So as we conclude talking about breakthroughs and talking about miracles, I I want to invite you to continue praying for them and working for them because God is going to make them happen. But also you have to remember that when God does make them happen, to be grateful, to respond with the spirit of gratefulness, to respond with the spirit of gratitude so that you don't fall into the lies of self-sufficiency and complacency in your life again, so that you can continue to be a part of God's goodness, of God's greatness, but being grateful.